ladies and gentlemen we are here with another new series on the channel i talked about doing this a little bit in the past couple weeks and i wanted to go ahead and get it started as soon as possible this is going to be our career mode with lee sung woo obviously not a player that's actually in the game but a real player in real life um the story there obviously is he's a young talent considered to be the next messi in uh, a lot of people's eyes and to be the korean messi um a couple years ago when they got their transfer ban he was not able to play until he turned 18. he turned 18 january 6th so um you know, I kind of wanted to pick up his career. You know, he's obviously, like I said, not in FIFA. He might get added, who knows. But um, as of right now, we do go ahead and pick up his career. Um, I start things off with just a little bit of training. We're going to play the preseason cup because he was allowed to play in preseason games, friendlies, um, international games and stuff like that. And then um, after we're done with preseason, we're going to simulate every game between... Um, the start of the season to January 6th and then pick up the season where it is and then figure out what we're going to do at Barcelona right so um, you guys are just going to see I obviously since we're doing a player career mode I want to make sure I'm getting the best out of his training so I'm going to probably be playing the majority of his training every once in a while we'll do a little bit of uh, simulating um, just because sometimes it's not really necessary to get the best training session out of uh, your training week so um, sometimes we'll simulate sometimes we'll play them I'm just gonna show you guys the best runs that I have for each one some of them are good some of them are horrible uh, just kind of adjusting to the player he is a 70 rated overall as of right now um, realistically I kind of wanted that to be a little bit closer to about a 66 67 i think would have been a realistic area for him uh he's definitely a good player his his growth was stunted by the transfer ban obviously he wasn't able to continue to play at the tier of barcelona football so um a little disappointed not to i guess have the ability to help him out there that train the yeah <laughs> That uh, dribbling course did not go well for me watching it again. I forgot how bad that actually went. Um, these drills, by the way, for shooting, or no matter what I do, I don't know if it's the player I'm playing with or um, me just not being good at this drill at all, but I hate this drill with a burning passion. Um, but it does the best for his stats. But as I was saying his growth was stunted not being able to play with the barcelona squad as of right now i think he's still considered on the barca c team and then hopefully moving to the barca b team soon there's a lot of news that he will be doing so so long as he continues form with the barca c team so regardless obviously barca b is not in this game anymore they are in the third division of spain now so um they're not going to be able to be played with in the game so we do have to go into the uh the main barcelona squad which is going to be difficult um as a 70 overall player obviously we have suarez in front of us as the main striker but i will go ahead and say this they do want to put me out on loan but they also want to play me almost every week um Obviously, Suarez is on the bench if we do need goals, and I'm not able to uh, give them goals for the season. But they were willing to start me in the majority of the games you guys are going to see in uh, probably a couple episodes. So we'll kind of see how you guys will see how everything kind of plays out. It's obviously still hard to be a player for Barcelona um, as a 70 overall player. So. Um, as you like as I said this is kind of it's a good story regardless of if you are Korean and you've been following this player and you want to see him become the best uh, player for Korea ever or you know you're a Barcelona fan and you're seeing hopefully the next Messi I mean we're talking about the kid who beat Messi's record whenever he um, was 13 he scored I think it was 39 goals in like 29 games so I mean, we're talking, we're talking a mass amount of money or a mass amount of talent, rather, in the in the player. 
Um, as of right now, I think they say he has like a transfer buyout clause of like three million, but that could jump to like ten million if he gets put up to the Barca B team. So that's always a possibility there. You guys are gonna see our first game of the preseason tournament is against Napoli. Um, I have a pretty decent team around me: Sandro on the left, Vidal on the right. Some good players in the midfield and defense behind me. Not really the strongest team in the world. Honestly, kind of wish they would have played a little bit uh, stronger of a team, but I do understand nonetheless. Um, playing with Sandro, he doesn't really help me out very much. He's not the paciest player in the world. As of right now, I kind of wish I would have had more pace on Lee Sung Woo. It would have been a little bit more realistic because he is a faster player. But definitely going to try to do all of the things I can to get that sprint speed up as fast as possible because that is just the style of player he is. I also have to work on my dribbling. Obviously, when you're doing a player career mode, you start off with weak dribbling and have to work your way up on the skill moves. So going to have to beat some players off the dribble and just kind of work things through and try to get the, those uh, f at least hopefully a four star skill up as soon as possible. Um, this game is a little different in my opinion where you're coming in and playing a player career mode things don't feel i don't want to say it's easy as it was in the past but the the players around you play differently in this game than they did in the past it feels odd to say the least um unlucky not to be involved in that goal i mean i obviously played the ball into the box but a lovely bicycle kick from Rakitic there to take the lead in the 50th minute so um, beautiful goal there unlucky not for me to not be involved in the goal obviously when you have stars around you it's it's hard to get involved um, all the way around so uh, Napoli are actually able to uh, pull the pull the game back you guys are gonna see here in a second but um, right there just just a well-worked header the keeper kind of comes behind him instead of in front of him and they end up getting a a well-worked corner for a goal right there so um whenever we are talking about progressing with this player i'm still trying to kind of figure out to be honest whether playing at barcelona right now is the best thing for me because i'm a lower rated even if I am being put into the game as often as possible, I'm playing against stronger defenses and stuff like that. Am I really ready to be playing against these players? I'm not too sure. So maybe the loan offers aren't too bad that I'm going to be seeing in the January transfer window. Obviously, that's going to be right after I turn 18, so right whenever I am able to start playing games again. So um, like I said, you guys are going to see... In this episode and the next episode, the four games of the, or five games rather, of the um, preseason tournament, so long as we make it through, obviously. Um, I didn't show you guys the training session that I just did there, but I did show you the results, so still BA average there. We're coming up in the next game. Um, obviously, this tournament was set in Korea. I thought that was kind of funny that Barcelona did that. Um, but this game here, I was kind of hoping, you know, I was thinking if there was ever a chance for me to get a goal, it was going to be in this game. I th I'm still trying to adjust to playing the Barcelona way, right? That first game against Napoli, it felt really Barcelona pass heavy. There were a lot of passes going around all the time. In the games after that, though, it did not feel like Barcelona football at all. We were counterattacking. We were, we were just playing really weird, and I didn't like it at all. Like... I wasn't comfortable with the team, our possession, none, nobody wanted to push on the ball. So we concede possession all the time. We're not uh, bossing possession. We're not playing triangle passing. There's just, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in this Barcelona squad. And I don't know why, I don't know what changes. I don't know if it's just because of the computer, not knowing it's Barcelona, but usually when you do play against Barcelona, it's like engraved in the game that they pass a lot and they hold possession a lot. So I don't know what's really going on here. It's it's taking me a little bit to get used to. This first half was really the only chance I was going to get to score a goal because my stamina is still not as strong as I would like it to be. So I do have to come off at halftime. Um, 
to get out of the game, conserve my energy if I do want to play in the next game. So I let Luis Suarez come in. They're going to go ahead and win this game. So we managed to get four points so far in the league. That is where this episode is going to come to a close. If you guys do enjoy the series and like the idea of the series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this series obviously is going to be in a three-show uh, rotation on my channel so every three days you guys will see an episode of this series coming out so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and until then i'll see you guys later